What's up guys, this is David at Pixel Pro Audio. Today I've got a Studio One tutorial for you about plugins. Let's get started. First, let's start off with what is a plugin. A plugin is a digital add-on that can enhance the functionality of your software without changing the program. Now in terms of audio, you can add plugins to your digital audio workstation like Studio One or Pro Tools or Logic, in our case Studio One, and you can change your source tracks, you can alter the sound without changing the, uh, the program. Now I can show you that in a little bit here once we get to the screen, um, but first let's talk about the different kinds of plugins. Um, the five main kinds that I use in mixing are EQ, compression, reverb, delay, and saturation. So let's get started. Oh, we are heading over to the screen now. So let's just take a listen before we add anything. This is the vocal track we are going to be using for the Studio One tutorial. We are going to add plugins like EQ and compression. Okay, solid. All right. Uh, so if you saw in our previous video, you might have recognized the fader view here. Now we're just gonna be focusing on this inserts section. Now what I love about Studio One is the, the one page design. I like how sleek it is. You can uh, scroll between your tracks and you get a good mixer view right away. Now to add plugins in Studio One, we're gonna look at this fader view and we are just going to go to this plus sign here. I'm gonna click that and then if you just got Studio One and that's all you've got is the stock plugins, you're just gonna see this. Um, I like to sort by vendor or manufacturer, but you can choose all these different different other uh, sorting methods. I just like to go by vendor. So we'll go to PreSonus, and let's say we want to add some delay. Um, PreSonus has some really good stock plugins like the Groove Delay. I really like this one. Now first, let's talk about the different plugin menu options. So this is going to be on every plugin you open in Studio One. Ignore this for right now, we'll get to that in a second. But first, we're gonna stay up here. Uh, now we're just gonna do the basics. Right here is the power button for the plugin. And you just click that, and it turns it on and off. This bypass button is a very similar thing, it just turns the plugin on and off, but this is automatable, so you can program it to turn off or on at certain points in the song to add a different feel. Over here, we've got our preset menu. So let's say you find a, a preset that you really like that works for your mixes. Um, you just change a few parameters and you want it to open up like that every single time. You go to this menu right here, and you store as a default preset. You can also uh, you can also make your own presets if you've got like a certain drum reverb or vocal delay you like. You can store that preset and name it whatever you want, and you can even re replace that preset if you find something that works a little bit better. And over here. We've got the built-in presets that PreSonus gives us with each plugin. All right, first let's see what this sounds like with just the default setting. This is the vocal track we are going to be using for the Studio One tutorial. That is a lot of me. <laughs> So let's say you don't like that one, you can just scroll through the presets. I highly recommend using presets if you're just getting started. They're really gonna give you a good starting point and um, you can just change the things that you need to once you find one that's pretty close. This is the vocal track we are going to be using for the Studio One tutorial. We are going to add plugins like... That one's pretty cool. Now let's say you do change something like the amount here. Bring that down, and you want to compare it to what you had before without having to move the knob, right? So that's what this compare button is for. 
So let's go back here and we can compare with the last change we made. This is the vocal track we are going to be using for the Studio One tutorial. We are going to add plugins like EQ and compression. So if you were looking at this knob over here, you would see that when I was pressing the compare button, it changes. That's a really effective tool to just check uh, one certain parameter on the plugin. I use that a lot with EQ and uh, sometimes delay because sometimes you don't want all this delay. And those are the main functions of the PreSonus plugins. Um, you can also add plugins from up here. Each track has its own uh, strip here and you can either access it from down here or you can keep adding from up here. So let's say we want to add a compressor. Now I wouldn't want to add a compressor to the delayed signal. I would want to compress the vocal first before I add the delay. Now one of the things I really appreciate about Studio One is the fact that you can move these plugins around wherever you want easily. See I can just switch them by clicking and dragging. You can even do that over here on the fader view. So click, hold, and drag, and they switch around. And you'll see it follows over here. And that makes it really easy to change your signal flow um, and stay creative without having to rewire everything and lose your thought process. And as you see, um, the compressor looks a little bit different than the groove delay. Uh, again, these are stock plugins, so they look relatively similar, but they do have very different controls. I'm not going to get into how to use a compressor in this video. Uh, that'll be a different tutorial. Uh, but just know that they do have different controls. And uh, the, the GUI is going to look very different from plugin to plugin. So let's find another preset for here. Let's go vocals. Uh, let's go male vocal rock. Let's see what that does. This is the vocal track we are going to be using for the Studio One tutorial. We are going to add plugins like EQ and compression. That has way too much delay. <laughs> so I'm going to turn that delay off. It's a little bit much for me right now. Uh, let's say we want to add an EQ to this. Again, we have to just go to the plus sign here. I'm going to scroll down to the Pro EQ. This is one of my, one of my favorite EQs. Um, again, I'll, I'll do a specific video on this later, but um, I really like this FFT curve. I find it super useful, both for mastering and just for um, individual EQing of tracks. Let's do another preset. Vocal, male rock vocal two. Yeah, we'll do this one. I want some more air on that. And again, I'm not going to want to EQ the delayed signal. Um, what I like to do is I like to EQ before I even compress. So I just drag it over, put the EQ in front of the compressor, or you could put it after if you want. Um, this is just personal preference, but it, it's so easy to stay creative and just swap stuff around if you're not liking your sound. So let's see what this sounds like. I'll have it off and then I'll activate it. This is the vocal track we are going to be using for the Studio One tutorial. We are going to add plugins like EQ and compression. That actually sounded pretty good. Um, I like these presets a lot. So let's go over adding your own presets. So let's say you wanna just add a little bit more 1K and you're not big on this boost here. Uh, now this obviously is different than the Male Rock Vocal 2 preset. So I've gotta save my own, right? I'm going to go up to this menu here. You can either store it as the default preset to be um, exactly how it opens up every single time, or I can store this preset as David Vocals. Hit OK. And it changes the name of it right there. And it will also be in my vocal preset folder. So let's say we've got all these plugins on here and you want to save this as your main vocal chain or you don't know 
uh, where to begin with a vocal chain. So let's just get rid of all these plugins here. If you want to have a really good starting point, PreSonus has these channel strips saved. So you can go to this little drop down arrow here. It's next to the plus sign, but it is the arrow. Let's do vocals. Uh, busted speaker, that sounds really cool. So what it does is it adds a strip of plugins for you to get a certain effect or a certain sound right away. So let's hear what this preset sounds like. This is the vocal track we are going to be using for the Studio One tutorial. That's pretty cool. Now obviously it's not going to work for everything. You're going to want to change some of these parameters. Um, and you can go into each plugin and, and do that. Uh, and you might have seen me get this drop down thing here. Um, in Studio One, they have this really cool option to either just see a small version or you can bring it up and see the full version like this. If you want to see the small parameter version, just click each plugin once and click it once more to collapse it. And you do have to scroll down sometimes to see all of it. And if you want to bring it up, double click and you get the full view. You may have also noticed that there is a power button right here. This is the power button for all of the plugins in the chain. So let's say I wanted to hear before and after of all my plugins. Instead of having to turn them off one by one, I can just toggle this power switch on the channel. This is the vocal track we are going to be using for the Studio One tutorial. We are going to add plugins like EQ and compression. So it sounds a little bit different than what it did before. Um, I had changed some stuff in the EQ and I, I scrolled through some different amp models. Um, but you get the idea. Now let's say you want to hear a mix before and after all of your plugins are on each track. Now instead of having to go through every single track and turn off the plugins here, there is a global bypass switch and that is right here. So this bypass switch will turn off all of the plugins in the entire mix. So if you want to hear how far you've come in a mix, which I do all the time in Studio One, it's kind of addicting. <laughs> uh, just press this global bypass switch and you can turn them all off or all on. I hope this tutorial has been helpful in understanding the plugins in uh, Studio One, both with adding individual plugins and those preset plugin chains. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment below. And if you want to see any other types of videos, let me know and we can make it happen. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.